For millennia, humans have known about seven planets in our solar system. The planets able to be seen by the unaided eye end at Saturn. But that didn't stop them from trying to look harder. When Galileo perfected the design of the telescope, he was actually able to observe the movements of moons around other planets. But that was just the tip of the iceberg, because in 1781, Sir William Herschel discovered another planet orbiting beyond Saturn. That planet was the one that we know as Uranus. But then it got better, because after observing anomalies in Uranus's orbit, the mathematician John Couch Adams in 1846 managed to calculate the position of an eighth planet, Neptune. But then it got even better because Neptune was also exhibiting orbital anomalies, and in 1930, Clyde Tombaugh calculated the position of a ninth and final planet, Pluto. What can we learn from this? Well, we don't really need to be able to observe something to know about it. Just like with the dinosaurs, we can't watch them and yet we know a lot about their behavior and diet.